They are all around us, invisible and unsuspected. Three million members of a secretive society older than the American Republic. For nearly 300 years, generations of Freemasons have obeyed their oaths, hidden their rituals, and maintained their silence until now. Who are these men? See, that's what they don't want to talk about. There's nothing wrong with secrets. Well, JFK, we know what happened in Area 51. Don't ask. In American presidents, to the British royal family, to the Emperor Napoleon, Masons have risen to positions of tremendous wealth, fame, and authority around the world. Is this coincidence or part of a conspiracy that stretches from our time back to myth and legend, to kings and crusaders, bloodthirsty pirates and hidden treasure? In fact, we travel the secret pathways of Masonic signs and symbols every day without even knowing it. The fabric of Freemasonry is deeply woven into our history, our daily lives, and it is said, some of our most horrifying crimes. Every one of our major cities contains a monument to Masonic secrecy. Ornate temples closed to outsiders and open to suspicion. Fantastic structures funded and furnished by members' dues and donations. Masonry is sort of like the Hotel California. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. They have hundreds of members, several branches called lodges, and a written constitution filled with fantastic symbols, signs, tools, hand clasps, and even their own alphabet. They devise a hierarchy of novice masons, master masons, and grand masters. 33 levels called degrees. Each one reached through a secret initiation and rewarded with a secret password that members swear never to utter outside the lodge under penalty of death. New members must be approved by secret ballot. A white ball for a yes vote a single dark stone means exclusion. It's the origin of the term black ball. The three most important Masonic symbols have endured unchanged since the 1700s. The most familiar is the letter G. But what does it stand for? God? Geometry? Geography? Or Grand Architect, the true designer of the universe? There is no single official definition. The compass reminds members to restrain their desires and encompass their deeds within a moral code. The square represents honesty and fair dealing. There has been this um, long tradition of Freemasonry being involved um, in conspiracy. God's banker, Roberto Calvi. The murder proven in the Italian courts, the hunt is on for the murderers. In 2005, three mafia henchmen and one woman go on trial at a maximum security prison in Rome on charges of arranging Calvi's murder, a trial that will likely delve into connections between several secretive organizations, the Vatican, P2, and the Mafia, and may last five years or more. When the scandal of P2 and Ambrosiano was uh, unveiled, it looked like uh P2 was a state within the state, but then if you move to uh, today, maybe just simply the state. That is that the infiltration has become so extensive that you don't distinguish the, the interest group from the institutions. Slowly, the truth has begun to emerge about the unsanctioned Masonic Lodge called P2, about Vatican millions and mafia debts, and Calvi's bank. 
The death of John Paul I comes just as the scandal breaks. But despite shoddy medical work and a suspiciously hasty embalming, evidence to support the conspiracists' claim to devilish cults and unsolved killings, political power, and secret plots to rape and rule the world. Masons have been denying these far-fetched claims of evil doing for 300 years with little or no effect. The Masonic connection to Jack the Ripper was first made 90 years after the murders in a TV program and a book. Deep-rooted need to organize and explain events beyond our comprehension. Faith has dissipated in our culture. We're finding it difficult to create patterns and interpret and make sense.